Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, guess what? what? Guess what happened? What? Uh, Baby Yoda has a name. That's right, because I'm the one told you. Yeah, I, I didn't know until the, you're like, hey, Baby Yoda, mm -hmm. they named Baby Yoda. And Ahsoka was on the episode too. Just like the leakers said. Mm -hmm. and then Oh, they were told anybody they were, surprised? No. Yeah, 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 so it is what it is. So we're going to talk about uh, Baby Yoda's name and how it's not going over well. <laughs> it's a weird name, but yeah. It, it's a weird name. It's not going over well. Are they going to trademark that? And put I'm it sure it's already the, been trademarked. All the Baby Yoda crap. You know, you probably could have got it. If you would looked at what the Disney has been trademarking lately or Lucasfilm, you probably would have seen it and probably would have, you know, you could have figured that out. I think somebody leaked it before. I, I, if I recall, and people said, no, that's a stupid name. They'd never name him that. And that's what his name actually was. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk about Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda's name. We're going to talk about Pedro Pascal showing support for Gina Carano. Oh, and he'll get canceled. And he's probably going to get canceled. See, I even read that in the article. Oh, like, will yeah. he get canceled? Yeah, he probably will. Because you're not allowed to um, have differing political views. Even if you're friends. Even if you're friends, you're not allowed to. You can't just agree to disagree on some issues. You have to loathe each other and uh, call for the firing of the other person. Um, so we'll talk about all that jazz. Before we do, guys, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, we're Woo! at uh, over 150,000, 155,000 subs. Something like that, yay! Yeah, so thank you. And uh, we're also having a Black Friday sale. I got it told I have to promote this. So we're gonna promote the Black Friday sale uh, starting today. We've got clownfish well, pins. Today. It was probably starting a couple, couple days ago. Couple days ago. But we, we didn't do videos yesterday. So. No, we didn't. But uh, yeah, you can get some of our, our merch on sale. You can also hit the pre-orders for the new pins. Uh, we have a handful of the old pins left. And we also have some holiday sweaters like the, the Happy Fistivus. Uh, you know, You're get, so happy about this. You can get fisted by Clownfish TV for the holidays. So anyway, let's talk about Baby Yoda. Nobody wants to fist Baby Yoda no, except the puppeteer. No, I don't want you fisted anybody for the holidays. Uh, so. <laughs> Christmas don't, surprise. Don't go volunteering that because I don't want to do it either. All right. So well, I should tell you guys first, this is going to be a spoiler. Spoiler. Oh, yeah. Spoiler. We haven't seen the new episode. We didn't yet. show the name yet, so it's okay. We haven't spoiled it. I think yet. I accidentally showed it. That's oh. okay. If they're this far into the video, you think by now they'd be like, Well, yeah. why are they watching a video they don't want to know? I don't want to know the name. Oh, my God. You spoiled it. Uh, anyway, his name, his name is Grogu. Grogu. <laughs> That's the best you could do, Disney. Grogu? Mm -hmm. Like I'm okay. sure there's a reason, probably, maybe. So all the other all the other Yoda species, they have names that start with a Y. So I thought his name was gonna be like Yentl. Yentl, I don't think. Or Yazzy. Be... Or Yim or Yang or um I don't know. You're just, you're just, make, you're just throwing Y words out. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, yub, nub. <laughs> you know, something like that. But no, it's Grogu, which sounds like a 50s sci-fi alien, which might be the point, but it's terrible. It's a terrible name. Well, some people like it, some people don't. Um, people are like, yeah, you have something that we can call him besides Baby Yoda. Because a lot of people are, are, are really up in arms about calling him Baby Yoda because he's not Baby Yoda. But Grogu is terrible. I know. So I understand not calling him Baby Yoda. Um, there, you know, he. We knew he was thinking a name because they kept going on about how he needs a name. So we also got Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka Tano, which was leaked months ago. Yep. And all the Lucasfilm people were like, "No, that's not true. YouTube lies, just like YouTube lied lied about the rise of Skywalker." Right. They lied about Rosario Dawson getting cast as Ahsoka Tano. That was just a bunch of bullshit. That's right. Said the Lucasfilm apologists. Uh, no, she's she's totally. So everything mm -hmm. is true, which probably also means there was some behind the scenes drama. It's true. All of it. It's true. All of it. Uh, so this is what people are saying. I think it's freaking terrible. It's still Baby Yoda. That name is stupid. Hello, Grogu. His name is Baby Yoda. <laughs> what are they going to do with all the... Well, now they're going to call the, the child. They're going to be like... Grogu wafers or something? No, they're they're Navarro nummies. Navarro nummies. Because that was they were on Navarro. But you know, yeah. So they have all, all the this stuff out there. It's like the child, crap. the child, the child, the child. But now it's the, the child has a name. Baby needs a name. Baby needs a name. Baby needs. Should a have like name. a vote on it or something. Uh, seriously, Baby Yoda's real name is Grogu. The fuck kind of name is that for an alien baby? I will not be calling Baby Yoda anything other than Baby Yoda. Oh, I got put twice. Sorry. Ah, uh, it's okay. Anyway, though, I'll. 
twice for effect. Uh, anyone else think uh, Grogu sounds like something the mechanic tells you need replaced in your car? Sorry, I'm sticking with Baby Yoda or the child. I love that Baby Yoda is named Grogu, not to be confused with Rogu from American Dad. Right, I mentioned a couple times. I think I put that in there twice too. I have to go back and fix it. I was hurrying this morning. But yeah. It's Grogu. So tired of Baby Yoda. He's not Yoda and never was. Uh, so this kept getting put in many times. I don't know why that happened. No, I think everybody's talking about it. That's why. Uh, congratulations to American Dad's Rogu being Baby Yoda the whole time. Well, they own it now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I put that in by accident a couple times. I don't even know how that happened, but uh, it got put in a couple times by accident. That's okay. You need oh, to... no, I know how it happened because when I was doing this article, my computer decided to to crap itself and they kept going really weird and then refreshing weirdly. And I think it copied and pasted things I didn't put in there because oh. I had to restart my computer after the article because it wasn't working right. It's all Grogu's fault, it's Grogu's that little, fault. little bastard. That's right. No, actually that did happen. I, I My computer kept shitting itself so he had to restart it i'm sure grogu shits himself <laughs> I'm sure. often how come you never see him changing his pants maybe he uses the force to like force it away i don't know like uh anyway baby yoda's name is grogu and he has a tragic backstory today is the rise of grogu let's effing go fuck it grogu time <laughs> holy shit grogu is the perfect name no no a lot of people are like no this is stupid sorry grogu's awful Guess I just wanted to be called Mitch or something. <laughs> Mitch. Mitch. <laughs> Mitch. Okay. Put the fucking frog eggs down, Mitch. <laughs> Her Mackie. <laughs> Mac. Oh my God. That's what we're going to call a Mackie. So for those of you who don't know, last time we went to Disney World, a couple months ago, we checked it out. Pandemic Disney. Had to do it because, you know, Disney. Kind of our job. Kind of our job. So we did Pandemic Disney, and there was this kid behind us named Mackie. I know this because his parents and his siblings kept repeating his name over and over and over again. And Mackie didn't know how to social distance. Mackie was all up in my my backy packy he area. Was, uh, he was in his, your butt. Like, he was, like, right underneath your butt and your backpack and everything else. He was literally rubbing the straps on my backpack. He was that close to me. I'm like, Mackie's going to get a smacky if he doesn't get backy. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Mom and dad were not paying attention. They were on their phones. And uh, I kind of scowled at them because this happened. Like, we were in line for Pirates of the Caribbean. This happened repeatedly. Like, it was like whole... a one-time thing. The kid, you no. know, was trying, practically crawling on your leg. You he know? was also, like, licking his fingers and wiping his nose and, and smearing it all over the guardrail, the handrail at Pirates of the Caribbean. His siblings were watching him because the parents were too busy taking Instagram photos or some shit. And uh, so I turned around, I kind of glared at the mom and she's like, Mackie, stay away from that man. He's grumpy. Yeah, you're, yeah it was your fault. It was my fault. It couldn't fault. have possibly been her fault, Karen. Anyway, <laughs> so let's go Karen, Karen Mackie. So yeah, we're going to call the little bastard Mackie because <laughs> he can't leave his damn hands off the frog eggs. Uh, chapter 13, the Mandalorian gives Baby Yoda a name. Finally, I'm sticking with Baby Yoda. Grogu really sounds like Star Wars soup. I ain't calling him Grogu. He'll always be Baby Yoda. And uh, yeah, another rumor confirmed because Lucasfilm is really terrible at keeping secrets. Pretty much. They say it's not true. It usually ends up being true. Yeah. They're I like mean... the dark side, you know, mm -hmm. it's they're lying to you. But So anyway, on to more Mandalorian news, right? Uh, Pedro Pascal is going to get canceled because, oh my God, he showed support for Gina Carano. We kind of wondered with all the drama going on between these two. Well, those two always seem to get along. They did. You know, That's they always, why... like, they seem to be friends, and they always were, like, you know, talking to each other, and they seem like they got along really, really well. Yeah, I mean, they're smiling on the set. They're not, you know, it, it's not like you hear about the behind-the-scenes drama, whatever. They do seem to get along. This is what I'm talking about. Like, freaking social media and politics uh, is, is toxic, because you get people that actually in real life would get along normally. Maybe they disagree about some stuff or whatever. But you get on Instagram, you get on Twitter, mm -hmm. and, and everything goes to hell in a handbasket. And Pedro Pascal, you know, he said some stuff on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, Gina Carano said some stuff on Twitter and Instagram. It's obvious that the two are at polar opposite ends of the political spectrum. Right. Uh, he's very far left. She's very far right. But somehow, somehow they can work together. And, and, and they still get along. <laughs> and they still get along. Just don't Imagine talk about that. Politics. It's almost like it was, you know, it was before 2015. I know, right? Uh, so anyway... They're, we're, you know, I just talked about what she had done that they're so mad at, what he had done that people were mad at. This is what he posted. He put a picture up and he credited the artist too, which I want to say is awesome because a lot of times people don't credit the artist. Credited the artist um, and he put this up and, you know, it was it, it was really cool. And people, a lot of people were, were like liking it. A lot of people were like um, giving him, uh, him credit on both Instagram and mm -hmm. on 
Twitter where he posted it as well. And now a lot of people were acting really weird and asking them stupid questions that made no sense. But most people were like being very supportive for now. Yeah, so just to roll back a little bit. So what's been going on with Pedro Pascal and Giancarlo? For those of you who haven't been following the drama, basically uh, Pascal posted this uh, the other week. Uh, comparing uh, Trump supporters to Confederates and Yahtzees. He took that post down. He did though. take that post down. He did take the post down. And then Gina Carano has been, um, you know, she's been liking the wrong tweets. She's been following the wrong people. And it's pretty obvious that she does lean right. That's a no-no according to Twitter. And she's been getting all kinds of backlash. They've been calling for her but to she be fired. But she doesn't back down, which is why they keep going after her. Right. Because, I mean, I'll be honest. Sometimes I think she baits them. But I think it's because she's just so sick of their shit. So yeah, I understand yeah. that. I can under I I understand where she's coming from. So you know, um, but it's cool because you know the, the the people that hate her love him. Yeah. And he's actually coming out and being like, you know, we're you know, I'm going to support her. We're friends. You know, and and he and because he spoke out in support of her, he's getting a lot of uh, positive feedback from it for now until they decide to cancel him. Yeah, I'm waiting for that to happen. Uh, I hope it doesn't happen because here's the thing: regardless of where either of these folks fall politically, you know, I, I don't want anybody to be fired. No, from their job, especially over politics, you're allowed to voice your opinion, whatever. I, where I get tripped up is when we've got celebrities using their platform to basically go attack fans. Mm -hmm. You know, using politics as a shield. Right. Or these media outlets that d basically just attack fans and label them for no good reason other than because it does, they, they don't fall in step with what they believe. Right, right. And that's what we stand up against. We stand up for the fans and we stand up against uh, abuse of people simply because they don't agree with you. And they call you isthmophobes and all this stuff over stupid things. That's what we stand for. But we don't want to see anybody get fired. No, you know? no. I mean, you're allowed to think differently than us. And that's Okay. Um, you're allowed to think the same as us, so that's okay. But there's a lot of people who don't even, you are in the middle who aren't even American that think differently than us. And we still get along with them fine. So this whole idea that you agree completely or you're not my friend is stupid. Yeah, I think that has been, that outrage has been stoked by the media. It's been stoked by social media. And we're starting to see a lot of the websites that have pitted basically the, the people that create the content against the fandoms. Um, it's starting to implode. Yes. We're seeing a lot. We just talked the other day. I think our last video we did actually was a sci-fi fangirls, which was going out of its way to attack fans saying all anime is, you know, fascist and all this yes. nonsense. And it's been a pretty recent thing. You know, a lot of the people in Hollywood that are, you know, saying the things they're saying politically, like even Mark Hamill. Like, I don't think Mark Hamill has actually changed. He's always had his political opinions. He just never had the platform to be able to you know, uh, I guess with Twitter to be able to get it out there to everybody. But beyond that, the media runs with it. And it's like Mark Hamill said that, that Star Wars, the right wing Star Wars fans are awful. Right. They just pick and choose what they want right, to, to pick right. and choose from it. So, yeah. But anyway, you know, the cool news is that, you know, he did come out and put that picture up and, you know, was kind of taking, you know, a little bit taking her side and or at least supporting her because she keeps getting a lot of shit from it. Yeah. Um, yeah, she has been. And, uh, again, I think people should be, and that's on both sides of the aisle. I think you should be allowed to, you know, say what you want to say. I think where I draw the line personally is when you start attacking the fans, you know, right. that's, that's now look, if somebody is a total douchebag and they deserve it, you know, that's one thing, but mostly it's like, oh my God, all the Republicans need to just go crawl in a hole and die. You know, that's. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. The, the, post, <laughs> he put, cool. the post he put and took down was kind of crap. Too. Well, there's a reason he took it down. He probably right. realized, like, yeah. He that said or, he wasn't meaning it the way it came across. Either but. that or Disney was like, what the hell well, are this, you that's doing? The, Disney seems to be quiet in all of this, though. That's the thing. Disney, I'm so surprised that all these actors are allowed to behave the way they behave on social media because when we had agreements with Disney, when we worked on comics or we did pitches or whatever, we there was clauses in there about how you had to behave on social media. Um, you weren't supposed to go around and cause issues with fans. That's yeah. why you don't understand why these other people are allowed to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to change. I think especially with Hollywood being pinched for cash, mm -hmm. it's like, you know what? We're not going to tell you what you can say or can't say, but if you cost us money, then yeah, we might change that policy <laughs> a right. little bit. So we'll see. It's the only bright spot in Star Wars that Disney has right now. They can't afford for this to blow up. No, even though they're going to blow it up themselves with their... With Grogu. Their, I was say, with that milking Grogu... They milk they, they milk Grogu to the point of of, of, of him screaming and it, it's it's oh god a, that's a horrifying I, thought am, am I wrong though juice that little motherfucker yeah I'm not wrong I do <laughs> stop that's wrong <laughs> it Sorry, is wrong that hurt. It you hit me <laughs> it so hard. you slapped me 
All I was talking about was juicy children. It was his children. leg before anybody freaks out. I was like, what's right his knee? Right across the face. Right in his knee, oh. on his knee. Like, don't. I hit him that hard. Why him hurt if I did? But I hit him that hard. All right. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Yes. <laughs> this is like a strange detour. Uh, baby juicing. Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, so little Grogu, that little bastard, we're gonna have uh, Grogu cookies and Grogu ice cream and Grogu pie. <laughs> Grogu. <laughs> Grogu goo. Oh my God, that'll be the next thing that's all Galaxy's Edge. It'll be just like a vat of green sludge. It'll be called like Grogu goo. Grogu goo, like babe goo goo. Like. Yeah, but it's actually his feces. You just don't know it. That's right. It sounds cute. The Karens will love it. They'll be front of the Instagram walls. Like, oh my God, I got some Grogu goo. I got some Grogu goo. Oh my God, Here's girlfriend. Baby Yoda, the, the the drink, you know, and all that. Here I'm standing in front, I'm drinking Baby Yoda in front of the Instagram wall. You know, it's just exactly what's gonna happen. I made those noises and I got hit. I know, this is because I just did it because you made the noises. Well, I'll hit you back. <laughs> all right, we're gonna wrap it up. See you later. Bye.